All right, in this video, we're gonna be mastering the nutrients for our tower garden. Like usual, I wrote up a guide to go right along with this video. It's gonna be a great resource for you. It is free and downloadable over at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. Also put a link in the description box. Let's dive right in. So there's really nothing wrong with Tower Garden's uh, nutrient solution. The Juice Plus nutrients are great. It's a two-part nutrient solution, one for early growth and one for flowering, but it really is like a one-size-fits-all kind of general nutrient solution. It'll work fine for you, but what we're talking about in this series about Tower Gardens is how to optimize your Tower Garden. How are we gonna get the best of the best growth out of our Tower Garden? So today, we're gonna be ditching the Tower Garden Juice Plus nutrients, and instead we're gonna use nutrients from General Hydroponics, we're gonna use their Flora series. Now, I've been using these nutrients for years because they're inexpensive, they're easy to find, they've been proven to be a decent quality product, and they work well for me. Uh, they also have this really, really easy to follow chart on the side. So we're gonna use this chart, along with uh, my experience and timing, to tell you exactly how many nutrients you're gonna need and when we should put those nutrients in. Before we really dig in, we have to talk about how to measure the nutrients. And this is measured through something called your EC or electrical conductivity of the water. Basically, the more particles in the water, the more conductivity. Uh, it's also measured as parts per million or TDS. And for this, you just need a simple device called a EC meter. I'll link it up in the description box below. They're fairly inexpensive, but it is an, an absolute necessity when it comes to measuring your nutrients in your tower garden. All right, early growth. Now, right off the bat, your early growth is going to be the easiest because it starts off with a fresh vat of 20 gallon nutrient solution water. Now looking at the chart here, we're gonna start very light. This is just a quarter teaspoon per gallon of each one of these. So right across the board, you can see that it is an even amount of all three of the nutrient solutions. And we can see up here that we're trying to reach 450 to 600. So what this means is if we follow the directions on the back of the bottle specifically, we probably won't reach that target probably much lighter than that. So what I recommend instead is use the chart here that says a quarter teaspoon per gallon as kind of a ratio. So we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon per gallon until we get up to 450 to 600 parts per million. But like I said, really only needs to be about four days to a week, once you start to notice some, some larger leafy growth, then we can go ahead and switch over to the mild vegetation stage. This one's gonna boost the EC up to 600 to 750, and we're gonna boost it up to one teaspoon of each of the bottles per gallon. So the way we're gonna do this now is we're gonna take the base EC that we're at after one week, and we're gonna bring it up to about 600 to 750 by adding one, table, one teaspoon of each until we get to that point. We're gonna let that chill for another week. So at this point, we're, we're getting pretty excited about the growth in our tower garden. Things should be really healthy, starting to really develop. And now it's time to get into the aggressive vegetative growth stage. And we're gonna be doing three teaspoons per gallon of the Flora Grow. We're gonna be doing two teaspoons per gallon of the Flora Micro and one teaspoon per gallon of the Flora Bloom. This is gonna get your plant really bushing out. Your leaves are gonna to start to go crazy. We're gonna to start to see really aggressive vegetative growth during this stage. And this stage should last about six days to two weeks, really depending on what you're growing, because the next stage is gonna be the pre-flowering stage. In my lighting guide, I call this pre-flowering. Uh, they call it transition to bloom. It's really the same thing. It's a very small period of time where you're gonna get your plant acclimated to a lot more red light and a lot more of the macronutrients, I'm sorry, and a lot more of the micronutrients and a lot more of the uh, flora bloom. So if you look transition to bloom, we're doing two teaspoons per gallon of the flora grow, two teaspoons per gallon of the micro, and two of the bloom. It's an even split right across the right across the board. So you should really only have to switch out the water in your garden one time during the entire harvest or growth cycle. And it'll be at this point when we're about to transition to bloom. All right, so blooming and ripening. Whenever the flowers are there, whenever you start to notice your fruit appear, whenever things are really in high production, we're gonna switch over to the blooming and ripening stage, which is two plus weeks. This will continue until your harvest, until you're ready to reset your garden. And we're gonna be transitioning heavily away from the growth formula to the blooming and micronutrient formula. As you can see here, we're only doing one teaspoon per gallon of the grow, while we're doing two of the micro and three of the bloom formula. 
Now I know there was a lot of information that I laid out in this video and a lot of technical stuff, a lot of numbers, so I highly recommend downloading that guide. Uh, it's going to be a great resource to you coming back so you don't have to just try to find all these numbers and remember everything I just said unless you were taking notes, in which case good on you. Uh, this is a quick video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or over at the forum on HumbleGrowthHydroponics.com. Let's keep growing together. Thank you.